Uh, Dr. Frieden, when we spoke on the phone the other day, you remained opposed to travel restrictions because, in your words, you said cutting commercial ties would hurt these fledgling democracies. Uh, now, is this the opinion of CDC? Is this your opinion, or does someone also advise you, someone within the administration, someone any other agencies? Where did this opinion come from that that's of, of high importance? My sole concern is to protect Americans. We can do that by continuing to take the steps we're taking here, as well as... Did someone advise you on that? Is someone else outside of yourself? Is somebody else advise you that that's a position we need to protect fledgling democracies? Um, my recollection of that conversation is that that discussion was in the context of our ability to stop the epidemic at the source. Well, but we can get supplies and medical personnel into the Ebola hot zones, and so stopping planes. And I've heard you say this on multiple occasions, that we have 1,000 plus persons per week coming to the United States from uh, hot zones. Am I correct on that? Coming from those areas? There are approximately 100 to 150 per day. Per day, okay. Now, I mean, the Duncan case has seriously impacted Dallas and northern Ohio, but what I don't understand, if the administration insists on granting, uh, bringing Ebola cases into the United States, um, Clearly, you've determined how many Ebola infection cases the U.S. public can handle. I mean, we here at NIH can handle two of these beds. Uh, do you know that number overall in this country, how many we can handle? Our goal is for no patients with I understand, Ebola but as long as we don't restrict travel and we're not quarantining people and we're not limiting their travel, we still have a risk. And so this, these issues of surveillance and containment, I don't understand. And this is the question the American public is asking. Why are we still allowing folks to come over here, and why, once they're over here, is there no quarantine? Our fundamental mission is to protect Americans. Right now, we're able to track everyone who comes in. But you're not if stopping we them from being around other people, doctor. I understand that, and I have a high respect for you, but my concern is the American people says, but even so, they're not limited from travel. They're not quarantined for 21 days because they can still show up as symptoms. They can still bypass all the questions that Mr. Wagner referred to in the thermometers uh, on there. So, and, I'm, and this is what happened with the nurse who went to Cleveland. So I'm concerned here, is this going to be your maintaining position of the administration that there will be no travel restrictions? We will consider any options to better protect Americans.